Hello YouTube, this is Niller from Slacks Stream, and uh, this is going to be a tutorial on the Razer Hydra um, driver and how to install MCEs. Okay, so you guys want to start off by downloading the driver for your Razer Hydra on Razer Zone. There's going to be a link in the description. You just press download. I already have it, so. Um, when you install it and restart your computer, um, this is going to open. This is the driver software. Um, if you haven't connected your Race Hydra, it'll say no Race Hydra connected and in instantly um, shut down. So you want to make sure you um, plugged it in your computer correctly. Okay, so we have um, a lot of different games here. It's like, I think there's over a hundred different games. Um, and all these games is called an MCE. And an MCE is like a configuration file. So this is what an MCE looks like in the program. It's a little, it says Assassin's Creed 2. You can double click and view a configuration file, uh, picture with all like the controls and stuff. And uh, over here, you can unclick if you don't want. Whenever you launch Assassin's Creed, if you don't want it, the Razer Hydra to activate, you can just unclick this little box. Okay, uh, and if you want to view the configuration, you just have to double click. It doesn't matter where you do it; just somewhere on this line uh, on the specific game. Okay, so. This is the motion controller. This is um, the default. This is like a mode where you, whenever you move it, it's yeah, like the Racer Hydra. You know, it moves whenever you move the Racer Hydra somewhere. It's hard to explain. And this is the gamepad controller, where you use the um, the analog sticks instead of like moving the controller. So I'd recommend the motion controller. It's like there's no reason on buying Racer Hydra and use this one. Which you could just do that with a PS3 controller. Um, this is the sensitivity tab. And you can adjust some different settings like the sensitivity and stuff and the brightness on, um, on like the Razer Hydra base. There's a green light thing glowing all the time and you can just turn it off if you want. Okay, so... Um, when you want to replace one of the MCEs or install a new one, you have to find the the Hydra folder with the MCEs. It's uh, on whatever disk you installed it on. Um, if you're running 64-bit, it's gonna be in the uh, the 86 one. If you are running 32-bit, it's gonna be in the program files. Um, yeah, that's if you use like the recommended uh, installation path thing. And that's what I did. So you go to Razer, Hydra, and Six Sense. So this is all the MCEs. Every single one of these MCEs is um, equivalent to one of these. So this is what they look like in the file, and this is what they look like when you when it's loaded in the driver. Yeah, when you want to install a new one, you have to download it from the website. And I'm gonna do that. Um, this is the Six Sense forum. I'm gonna put a link in the description for both of these websites. Um, this is the place you wanna like look at with the beta MCE releases and the user created MCE releases. If you want to make one yourself, you can have a look at this po these posts. Um, so I'm gonna download a user created one for now. I think I'm gonna pick the Minecraft one. So on the user created, you don't have the like the pictures with the configuration uh, controller configuration, like you have right here. You don't have this one on the user created, so you you're gonna have to um, look either on the uh, on the like the forum or you have to try it out in the game. Uh, and this is what it looks like. 
it's pretty simple. You have to drag and drop it in the in the six sense folder and uh, restart the driver. Sometimes you have to do it like several times, but oh. um. yeah, Minecrafts. And uh, as I told you, there's no picture that shows, shows the configuration. So that's how you do it. Um, I've downloaded all the beta MCEs with all like the updates for. There's an update for Left 4 Dead 2 and for TF2. They had some problems with um, changing weapons, so you um, you're gonna have to download it from the forum in the post called or the topic called beta MC releases. This is the one with uh, Left 4 Dead, and it says removed repeat on weapon switch till guest years. So uh, I downloaded all of these, uh, the official beta releases, and you uh, there's going to be a download in the description, and uh, the folder is going to look like this. So all you have to do is drag and drop and replace. Yeah. Um some of the beta releases is new game new like MCEs for new games such as League of Legends or stuff like that. There's some different upgrades and stuff or uh, updates, sorry. So I think that's it. And you just have to restart the race hydra. Yeah, so whenever you launch Mass Effect, the driver detects it and starts this configuration and then the hydra works in the game. All these games um the dy dynamic cursor the dynamic cursor is not supported in all these games. Uh and I'm gonna show in some later videos how uh, the difference di difference between the dynamic cursors and games without the dynamic cursor. Yeah. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.